I'm Amanda Cox. I'm a junior at Washington County High School, and I'm here with Mr. Terrell, principal of Washington County High School, and we're here at Truth and Consequences that is put on annually for the freshmen at Washington County High School. Mr. Terrell, what do you think about this program? It's an awareness for all of our freshmen of what happens when serious things, when they make serious choices that they shouldn't have made, what consequences result from those. I try to tell every student that I talk to each day, of course my assistant principals as well, that we all make mistakes. Students will make mistakes, but you've got to learn from your mistakes so it doesn't transcend and carry on as you go through life. And I think that's one of the biggest, uh, most important um, attributes of this program, and I hope we can, we'll continue to do it uh, because many of these kids who come in have never been in trouble, but there are some of these students who have some issues, like in any class, when you have 575 students, you're going to have students with issues. But I'm thinking as we do this as freshmen, this is a learning opportunity for them to make wise choices as they move through high school. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. And what exactly are you doing here today for the Truth and Consequences? What we're doing along with other members of the community, both legal and uh, the police, uh, different members of this uh, of the community, we're doing mock um, mock situations where a student may come in, they're given a situation that they've gotten into trouble, I counsel them on what they did, uh, it may be a drug issue, it may be uh, a weapon issue, and I tell them what would happen to them if this was a certain uh, specific issue that they had committed. That way when they leave here they know exactly what would happen, be it whatever uh, thing they committed. So once I once they know what they've done, and then I explain to them what process it goes to. Some offenses are so serious that I have to refer them straight to the Board of Education. I will suspend for five days, for instance, and then this, the, the board will have a hearing to make that decision on what other things happen to that individual. But it's it's a great awareness. Uh, I try to play it very seriously, and the kids, a couple of them mentioned, Mr. Terry, you, you're being too serious. But it is serious that when you have to do something like this, and I want them to know it's serious. But I do want to say this is the freshman group we have this year is an outstanding group of students and uh, we're glad to have them but it is a learning experience for those students that's really awesome you're doing a great job here we all know that you're here for us anytime that you need us I know I when I was a freshman I knew that you were always going to be here for us whenever we needed you so this is really a great program and you've done a great deal of things for this program can you tell us anything else that you like about it and I just want to say that that uh, I'm a kids principal or students principal my job is to make their life as easy as, is not as easy but as good as it can be I want them to be welcome at school they know my office doors open if they need me and that's my primary role is taking care of each one of the students no matter if they get in trouble every day or if they're never in trouble I just want to prepare them for life after high school so they can be successful and this is one of our best ones uh, my name is Jason Simpson and I am serving in the role of the Board of Education for the scenarios today and um, talking with the students about the possibility of uh, their offense and the possibility of expulsion and the steps that they would go through in a real life situation. I'm Amanda Cox from Washington County High School and I'm here with Detective Gabbert and he is here at Truth, Truth and Consequences that we have for freshmen here at the high school. What exactly are you doing here today? Uh, well we just take the kids through scenarios uh, basically letting them know um, what will happen to them if they break the law. Uh, they've, they're given different scenarios by their uh, teachers. Um, some might include uh, being in possession of drugs or selling drugs at school or breaking into homes, things like that. And we take them through the process of real life, what's going to happen to you if you do that. Um, we show them, okay, you did this, it's illegal. When I show up, you're going to jail. So we put cuffs on them. We take them over to the jail, the holding cells here in the courthouse. We let them see what a holding cell is like, what sitting in a holding cell is like. They go before a, a judge uh, to explain what the court system is going to be like. Just an overall education in hopes that uh, they will understand that this is real and that even though they're juveniles, even though they're in school, uh, that this can still happen to them. Well, that's really great. Um, can you give us an example of one of the scenarios that you've had today? Uh, well, one of them was uh, some kids uh, involved with uh, using prescription medication, so they broke into a local pharmacy to steal medication. Um, they, in the process of that, explaining to them that, uh, number one, when I get there, I'm coming to an active burglary call, so you're definitely going to jail for a felony. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, if you're in possession of those uh, medications, you're going to jail for that too. And uh, so we just took them through the entire process of what that would entail. All right, that's great. What, can you tell us anything about this Truth and Consequences program? What do you think about it? Oh, uh, anything like this is an excellent thing. Um, anytime we have an opportunity to 
show kids uh, what the system is like without them actually being in it uh, to hopefully do a little preventive care here, you know, to keep them aware of what's going on and to make sure that maybe they don't get into these situations in real life because the, the goal of this is to keep them out of trouble. I'm here with Mr. Greg. He is, a, he is here at Truth and Consequences as a court-designated worker. Uh, Mr., do you, would you like to tell us what you do here today at Truth and Consequences? Uh, the court-designated worker's office uh, receives all juvenile complaints. So any person under the age of 18 that gets charged with a, uh, either a public offense or a status offense, uh, the court-designated worker's office receives those charges. And then we process the charges either by sending the case on the court or putting a child on a diversion agreement. I see. Um, how, did you do this event last year? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. What do you think about this Truth and Consequences event? What's your opinion about um, bringing freshmen to uh, giving them situations that they may encounter or may not? Well, I think it's uh, always great if you can educate uh, uh, children about the uh, justice system. Uh, most of these, well, I'd say probably 99% of the kids that come through here will never have in the justice system but it's still a good learning process for them and for the few that might make a mistake then they'll know the consequences if they come through this program. Good well thank you for talking to us today. I'm here with Warren Whitaker. Can you tell me what you do here? Basically uh, we're just in interviewing the kids and finding out the situations that they're encountering on their scenarios and talking to them about the things that would have led into that and then how what is God's perspective and how would be a, an appropriate response from his perspective in this given scenario that they might have. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go off record here. As a minister, do you encounter any of these situations for real? Seems like every other day. Uh, it's constantly that there's somebody or a family that isn't dealing with so many of these different situations. Well, that's great that you're there for everybody. What do you think about this Truth and Consequences event? I'm uh, really enjoying the idea that they have the chance to be able to at least talk about some of these things, hopefully before they've experienced it personally. Um, many of them haven't encountered these things yet, so it will hopefully give them the ability to have some predetermined ideas on how they're going to handle it before they walk into these situations because they're legitimate situations that they will encounter before they're out of college. I'm with Melanie Sagercy, and she's a cardiac nurse at... Norton's Hospital and she's here with Truth and Consequences for the freshmen. Uh, what are you doing here today exactly? I am taking the freshmen in when they come to the hospital scenario. Um, if they've had a pill overdose, um, if they've been involved in a rape scenario, different um, situations, they'll come into us and then we'll walk them through um, basically a scenario in the ER. Um, if they try to commit suicide, we'll take them up to the psych ward take away all their belongings that would um, they could possibly hurt themselves with, but just go through scenarios with them, tell them how much it would financially cost them um, if they came to the ER, if they rode in a hospital or an EMS to the hospital. Um, so taking them real life, what would happen and what would be the consequences afterwards to pay for those things and to go to therapy and different stuff after the hospital. Can you give us an example of a scenario that you've dealt with today? Um, today, there um, has been um, several um, men and women to come, um, and they've taken pills, um, been at a party, um, got themselves into a situation that they um, couldn't control, They're, um, and some of them just overdosed and then some of them there was a girl that actually got raped so she had to come in and we had to take her through um, basically a rape kit what would the evidence that would have to be collected um, and then what she would have to do as far as the follow-up three and six months to check for STDs and to, um, do pregnancy test okay well thank you for talking to us You're welcome. nice to meet you I'm here with John Graves at Truth and Consequences for our freshmen. Uh, Mr. Graves, do you have anything you'd like to say about the Truth and Consequences, your opinions, what you think of it? You know, last year this, this group come down and uh, we really didn't know what what it was all about. But after watching the speakers and all the scenarios that they went through, you know, I was, I, I was just blown away with what was put together. You know, this is a great program for our youth. Um, you know, I remember saying last year, boy, I wish the last year's juniors and seniors could come back and see it because it, it's really powerful. You know, I work in the court system. I'm chief deputy here in Washington County. And when they go down, when, when kids choose the wrong road, we see that. And uh, 
if it, we got put out of business because they didn't choose drugs or alcohol, I, I don't think it would mind anybody in the state. Um, it, it, it just takes that first time, and, and we've got that. That's what we do on a regular basis: is deal with the people that um, that make the wrong choices, and uh, and these are sometimes the consequences. Well, I'm a junior myself, and I wish I could have seen this program. It's amazing what I've seen today. Um, you say you do the closing session. Would you tell the students about the court system? You mind telling us a little bit about that? Yeah. Well, we what I talk about and I do it very briefly is you know when you go through the scenarios that they have upstairs and you go th listen to the speakers at the end of the day you've created a file if you've done this you've created a court case and you know and you can get past it socially and you can get past it with a lot of things but that court case is always there and it's a constant reminder and in today's job market you know you really need to have everything you can going for you and anything on a background check can really hurt you now there are ways and we'll talk about there are ways that you can um, get that removed from your record but but the main thing that i'll point to them is it's very important to remember that you've created a record it goes on your record it never goes away and while it doesn't seem very important at 15 and 16, it's hugely important when you're when you're my age at 33 and I've got three kids and and uh, you know and you just don't want to say well I didn't get that job because of something that I did in the past. So it, it just little things and, and that's what today's about. You know, it, do they remember something when they're at a party or they're out or somebody passes them something? Do they remember anything that anybody has said today? Then it's a successful program.